What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I wanted to actually do a comparison video between the LA-2A by IK Multimedia and the one that Cakewalk created for Reason. Um, I've been asked by a few different people to do a quick comparison video, so I said, hey, you know, why not? Um, it'll help some people out. And if you're a guy like me that uses both VSTs and Reason, you know, it does give you a good idea of um, just some, just some decent comparisons between the two. Uh, let me minimize this down a little bit just so you guys can get a better feel for what's going on here. That's about, I think, as far as I can get it. Um, all right. So, um, what I'm going to be doing this with today is just a drum loop. Comes with reason. I haven't done any tweaks. I haven't put any effects on anything in here. All right, I'm going to show you that for both these tracks. If I pull this down, you see there's no effects, no nothing. They're all they're both presets straight from the factory sound bank. Um, drum loop, just Dr. Rex loops. So um, just so you guys can see what's going on here. And now let's talk about each device here. So, so we'll see what each device has in common. Um, they are um, both emulating the same compressor, the um, Universal Audio's LA-2A, if you didn't already know that. Let me pull this up a little bit. But they they, and they basically have the same controls here. You know, the IK has the re, um, a reset button here. They have um, left right controls. But the and you know here's some preference stuff. Now this stuff is really just unique to T Rex. All the T Rex stuff has this. Um, but what they do have in common is the limiter compressor switch on both of them. This is the one for the IK and the one for the Cakewalk is on the left. They both have the uh, makeup gain knob. They both have the peak reduction knob. And they both have the same um, gain reduction 10 output for um, four outputs for the VU meter. Reason even has an extra output or an extra one right here for the actual um, level that's at, truly coming out, not gain reduction or 10 plus one, or 10, 10 plus or four plus. So, um, and then also Reason also has the high pass filter knob on here, which the IK does not. Um, those are the real major differences. I don't, honestly, I don't think the difference between the two um, sound wise is huge. I think it's something that if you're not really listening for it or paying attention to it, I think it can be missed. Um, so, you know, that's the things in common. One more thing I want to talk about on my tracks in live, since I am rerun reason in, rerun, <coughs> rewiring reason into live. Um, here we go. You just see this is my LA2 or white 2A track. See, there's no effects here. It's just going through a Dr. Rex, through an external instrument. And then the re 2 a again, no effects. Coming straight out into Reason. Um, so I'm just going to play the drum loop that we have um, in its normal form. I'm only going to play the one coming from the white 2 a And I'm also going to bypass the white 2 a um, go Now the white 2 a is bypassed. And here's the drum loop that we're um, going to be using today. Alright, so there's the drum loop that we're going to be using today. Um, again, it is in the Reason Factory Sound Bank if you guys want to um, do this test as well. Uh, I'm going to do some tweaks here now on the white 2A, the IK version. Just so you guys can hear how it sounds. And then I'm going to put the same tweaks onto the Reason version. So I'm going to put it on... First I'll put it on Compress. Let's hit Play. I like using it in Gain Reduction Mode. Oh, it's bypass. There we go. Here we go. So we're going to put down peak direction a little bit, down to 50. And there we go. So we have a 60 on the gain, and then we're at 50 halfway for the peak reduction on the IK. Let's go into reason now. 
and I'm going to dial in the same settings on the reason one. So we have 60 and compressed mode. I'm going to leave the high pass filter not flat because the IK doesn't have it. Just so we can again get about the right idea here. And then peak reduction is at, or is at 50%. Okay, now we're going to play the reason version. Here we go. And the first thing that stands out to me right away is this reason version is just the one version of matter reason is just really quiet. I have to kick up the game a little bit more. Let me see here. Did I buy? You know what? Never mind. I bypassed it again. So let's dial this back to 60. Now let's kick it off. There we go. And let's switch back and forth. Now we're on the IK and back to reason. One thing I will say I've noticed um, a big difference here, and I don't know if you guys are going to catch in the video or not. The um, Cakewalk one actually adds a little bit of an artifact, a little bit of a buzz on the bottom. Even with, like I said, I'm using the same drum loop, same settings. The only difference between these two is that one is being ran directly, um, rewired out into Reason, and the other one is being re um, ran natively in um, Live, obviously, since I can't load the BST into... Um, reason and they can't load the rack extension into live. That's something that stood out to me right away. Uh, I'm going to play them again. Hopefully you guys catch it um, this, this next time. Here is, again, the Cakewalk version. And you can hear there's just these little artifacts. It's almost like a buzzing, hissing sound on the bottom of it. Now let's go to the IK. Punchier, louder, cleaner, all around. Yeah. So listening to both of these, I'm sure if I tweaked the um, Cakewalk one, I'm going to tweak the high pass a little bit. See if maybe I can um, get a really nice, clean sound from the Cakewalk. Let's try it again. And the big thing here that I'm seeing is, you know, it's not really making a big difference whether, uh, how, as far as I tweak that filter, it's still not, it's still giving me those artifacts. And I don't, I don't necessarily like those artifacts because everything I know about the LA-2A is supposed to be, it's really clean and punchy. And I'm not getting that as much from the Cakewalk one here. Um, now I have the other examples and I have spent some other time with, you can check out my spending some time with Cakewalk's, um, Re-2A video. To check that out too and um, I've got some really clean sounds out of it before so you know it's not usually like this it could just be this drum loop but what I did notice is the IK one's a lot more powerful it's a lot cleaner um, I have to say for me I prefer the uh, white two-way right now um, so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on it as of right now um, they're both about the same price I think the white two-way actually costs about 10 15 bucks more um, if you're like me, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks, that's a difference not even really worth talking about. For me personally, I can't talk about your situation and I'm not bragging anything I'm saying. To spend quality, um, spend quality on something that if you're already in that price bracket of like around 100 bucks or between 50 and 100, then to me, 20 bucks isn't really a big deal. And my that's just my personal opinion. I'd make it work. Um, but anyway... Hope this helps somebody out. Um, I do know that Native Instruments released um, another um, LA-2A this week. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on it, though, or not. Um, if, if I get the request for it, if I get it, um, somebody asks me to do another comparison, um, this time with the um, Native Instruments one from Guitar Rig um, that got released and was made native this week, uh, let me know. I'll do it because um, I, di I did see it and I, wa and I was excited about it. Um, but just let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks for watching. Check out KevWestBeats.com and I'll see you guys next time.